It's not uncommon to run across a variety of ways to feed and finish cattle, but for one Montana rancher, the technique is all her own. The Montana Ag Network's Jason Laird takes us to Montana Wine Beef. <laughs> Dude, get over here for breakfast. This is why you're the wine boy. So you might be thinking when you hear the name Montana Wine Beef, it sounds more like a nice pairing for dinner, right? Big juicy steak, glass of wine. Well, actually, it's the cows on, that are go. drinking the wine. Come on. But how does someone even come up with the idea? There is a really funny story about this. We were actually, <laughs> we were outside and my brother and I were building fence and we sat down and it was like at the end of the day and we thought, oh, well, we'll have just a beer, you know, and sat there and my bull came up and he hit my bottle and start drinking out of it. And I'm like, whoa, dude, what are you doing? I started talking to my brother and I'm like, you know, this would be kind of a, a cool idea. And he's like, yeah, but you can't do the beer because it'll mess with their stomach. Well, you know, why don't we try wine on that, Brian? It kind of didn't work. It went through one end and out the other. Nothing really stopped in between. In search of the answer, Bree found herself at Hidden Legends Winery in Victor, Montana. The magic concoction, mead wine. This, this is what it is. It's the honey that'll stop in between and it'll, it'll kind of help from the inside out. I'm like, cool. And I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. The cows aren't catching a buzz. If you look at us normal people and they're drinking a half a bottle, well, they kind of get lit. Well, you know, these, these animals are like four times bigger than that. It doesn't even phase them. And even when you're venturing out, go. trying something Please new, sometimes Come looking here. back to your roots is best. I've done a lot of the older things my father's taught me and it's paid off perfectly. Why do you have to do this just this morning? When, when you get stressed out, you just kind of say, what did dad do? What did grandpa do? And then it's like, oh yeah, let's try that. Through an unmatched love and respect for the animals and a little wine, you can expect a more tender, juicier, and even sweeter steak from Montana Wine Beef. In Great Falls, I'm Jason Laird, MTN News. For more on Montana Wine Beef and how you can try out their meats, swing over to our website.